hi everyone, it's Lucy from Radio.co and today I'm going to be showing you how to use IzzyCast with Radio.co. So firstly, what is IzzyCast and what does it do? Well, IzzyCast is an iPad and iPhone client broadcaster and it works for Radio.co stations. It also works for IceCast and Shoutcast stations as well. Um, it's not free, but it's fairly cheap. It's about $6.99 if you're in the UK and I think $7.99 if you're in the US. This video is made by Radio.co. To start your free Radio.co trial in seconds, head to Radio.co and click on the pricing page. So first things first, you're going to want to download IzzyCast from the App Store. I'm just going to pop it in here, type it in, IzzyCast, it's spelt with a Z. And because I've already purchased IzzyCast, um, for me here it just says open, but obviously if you haven't purchased it, then uh, there'll be an option to click it and buy it. Okay, so once you've purchased IzzyCast and you've downloaded it to your phone, you need to open it up. So IzzyCast allows us to do four key functions. So first off, we can broadcast an external USB or USB mixer or USB audio interface via our iPhone or iPad. So this means instead of using like your laptop or computer, you could essentially just plug in your USB mixer into your phone and broadcast it to your radio station using that. Secondly, you can use IzzyCast to broadcast your iPhone or iPad's microphone input. So that could either be like a live voice or you could use it to um, broadcast your recordings that you've made on your iPhone or iPad. You can also broadcast local files like MP3s from your device and you can add up to 16 sounds to the soundboard and fire them off on air. So that essentially means you can you know, shoot off your jingles as you're broadcasting live or for your phone, which is pretty cool. Right, so we've got IzzyCast open and the first thing we're going to do is connect it to your Radio.co station. To do this, we need to connect to the Radio.co server that your station is on. To add your radio station, you are basically going to go onto the onto IzzyCast and you're going to press this add button here. You're going to toggle it onto Shoutcast and then you're going to add in the broadcasting settings. And if you're wondering what that is well basically if you go onto your dashboard at studio.radio.co and then you look to the top right of your screen once you've logged in you'll see some uh, your broadcast settings and you'll see a host a port and a pass and these are the details that we're essentially going to put into IzzyCast to connect IzzyCast to a radio station for server name you can just put in your radio station name for example so I'm just going to put in my radio station your server address this is the host from your radio.co dashboard the password this is the pass from the radio.co dashboard and your port is the port from the radio.co dashboard so that's called the same thing um, and once you've finished just click the add button Cool. So you now should be have connected IzzyCast to your radio station. So it's worth mentioning that by default, IzzyCast is going to use your um, device's inbuilt microphone as its audio device. And the way you change this is you need to use a lightning to camera adapter to plug in your USB mixer into your phone. And once you've done that, you can then select that as your audio device to broadcast. Also here you can see you've got some kind of basic audio settings that you can change. You can change whether you want to broadcast in stereo or mono. You can change the codec, sample rate and the bit rate. So if you just want to get live straight away and kind of get on air as soon as possible, then all you have to do really is press the play button. Once you press that play button, you'll see a little connecting sign flash up, flash at the top of your IzzyCast screen and then you'll see a little green button that says on air appear as well as like a, a time counter that's going off to let you know how long you've been broadcasting for. Once you start broadcasting live you can obviously see that you've got some presets that you can change so you can essentially change the volume of your music as well as like your the sound effects and also the mic. Also, if you're th thinking that your signal from your audio mixer is pretty quiet, you can also increase the gain of all, all of your signal um, by adjusting the gain fader right here. That's just a quick demo of how you would go live. Also, just to note that you can double check that you're live on, on your radio.co dashboard. You'll also see the on air button appear. So once you want to stop broadcasting live, you press the stop button and 
If Izzy Cass says idle, that means you're not broadcasting. Now that I've shown you quickly how you would go live from Izzy Cass, let's just see how you would add music and add sound effects. So to control your music, it's you basically need to click this little icon into the play button that's like a few lines and a music note. Press that button and then we've got the option here now to import. So I'm going to go to import and then I'm going to click music library. And then I'm just going to download a couple of songs that I have downloaded on my device. So we've imported a few songs here. If I want to change the order of those songs, I can click edit. And then I can use the icon on the right just to drag and drop them into the position that I want to be, that I want them to be. This is quite useful if you're going to be playing multiple songs after each other. You want to produce a kind of playlist that you're going to, that you're going to play on there. So once you've done that, you can click done. So now we can toggle over to, to sounds and we're going to upload a couple of jingles onto this kind of sound pad, which means that we can then fire them off on air. So my jingles are saved in, under my documents folder under my iPhone. And so you, you can see here that I've gone into documents and I've got a five station, five second station jingle. And I'm also going to import one more. Uh, it's an old jingle from our old station, MCR Live, which I'm going to import that just for demo purposes. Right, now that I've loaded these jingles onto the sound pad here, um, by pressing them, you can see that a green bar goes across when a jingle is being played. That means by just pressing the button that your jingle is assigned to, you're going to play your jingle on air. So it's literally at the touch of a button, you can fire off your jingle, which is very useful. It means you could be just talking to somebody um, or a song could be playing as it finishes or so. You could toggle onto sounds and fire off a jingle. Also within this kind of music section here, this is where you can import other audio files. So that might be an interview that you've done with a guest. It might be a field recording. If you've recorded it and it's a file on your phone, you can import it here, ready to be played. Also, it's worth noting that you can record in IzzyCast itself. So if you wanted to do a pre-record, you can do it within IzzyCast and then it can be broadcast later on. And to do that, you would simply press start recording and IzzyCast will record your show for you. And when you're finished, you can press this little icon and just start recording. And you'll see that your recording has been saved into IzzyCast. That means then if you wanted to play that off on air later on, you would simply have to go back into IzzyCast, press the play button to go on air, and yeah, and then press your recording to start playing. So on the subject of recording shows, let's say you go live and you want to record your show as well so that you can put it up on Mixcloud or Soundcloud, whatever you want to do. Um, I would first off recommend you press start recording first and then you press the play button to go on air. And this means that your entire show will be recorded and you won't just miss the first few seconds, which might be the case if you go on air, then press start recording. Let's say you've recorded a show, you can go into recordings and then you can press the share button at the bottom to send it to yourself for if you wanna kind of do any editing on the computer or you wanna send it to um, your station manager, whoever it might be, whatever device you want to send it to, you press the share button at the bottom and then send whatever, however you like, through WhatsApp, through email, through airdrop, you name it. And just before you go, have you ever thought about launching your very own internet radio station? Surprisingly, it's a lot easier than you may think, especially when you make the time to chat to myself or a member of the radio.co team. To do just that, head to our website, radio.co forward slash demo, where I can talk about your plans, any questions you may have, and you know, me and the team can really get you up to speed in launching your own internet radio station in literally minutes. It couldn't be easier. Why not check out some of our webinars, tutorials, help guides situated uh, around me? Or why not visit our website, radio.co, or even drop me an email, studio at radio.co. Until next time, take care and happy broadcasting.